Hello everyone, my name is Ray. Thank you for visiting my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. If you are planning on building your lathe, you have probably come up across the problem of which bearing is the right bearing to use for this application. That answer is actually quite a complicated one, so today I'm going to cover two different bearing types uh, based on some of the questions that I've gotten uh, posted previously. So what you can see here is this is a, a solid chunk of bronze. It is quite big, quite heavy, and quite expensive. We manufacture bearings for industrial applications here. So this is a typical bronze bearing, a little bit on the large side, I know. So as you can see, that this bearing was made from this material. It takes quite a bit of effort. I'm going to be posting a video on how these actually get made within the next week or two. So uh, this bearing is actually quite useful in the application of slow moving uh, shafts with a a lot of pressure, a ton of pressure, in fact. And I'm going to show you that in a second. The other bearing type is, as you can see here, this is a ball bearing uh, insert in a mounted application. So these are referred to as mounted bearings. This particular type is a two-bolt pillow block. They come in all different mounting types. Uh, but in this particular uh, case, uh, this is a, a ball bearing insert in a, a pillow block mounting with two bolts. Uh, as you can see, these two bearings, this is also a bearing, a bronze sleeve bearing uh, or a uh, bronze bushing, same thing. Uh, and this is a ball bearing. So uh, even though this is obviously much larger in size, uh, this piece here, if you uh, buy it off the shelf, and you can find these off the shelf, is about a $30 bronze bushing. This, if you buy it off the shelf, is about a $100 ball bearing. So why the difference? Well, this, um, these bearings made in large quantities are actually very inexpensive to manufacture. They're expensive if you're only making one. These bearings are expensive to manufacture, period. There is some economy in scale, but it, you rarely find them uh, below a certain mark. And about $100 for a bearing this type, good quality, this happens to be a Dodge, uh, is about what you can expect to pay. So, if you're building your own lathe, which one do you choose? Well, let me start by showing you an actual lathe spindle. This is a spindle out of an older, probably 50s era, um, Atlas uh, lathe. And you can actually see some of the wear marks here. So this lathe had, during its manufacture, uh, a bronze bushing. It actually had two of these. So this bronze bushing is here at the front. And you can see some wear marks back here. There was another bronze bushing in the back. And both of those bushings kept this spindle in alignment. So, as you can see, this is a metal-to-metal -metal contact situation. Um, you don't want to be spinning real fast in a metal-to-metal -metal contact situation. Uh, so, these bearings are particularly suited for incredibly high loads. In the case of this bearing, this is out of, a, of an industrial punching machine uh, for making paper cups and plates and things of that nature, punching blanks. Uh, this, as you can see, is an older model lathe. Uh, that was probably geared, geared to go no more than a thousand RPM. The issue with this is that you have to have very good lubrication and a lot of it. Uh, this metal to metal contact uh, kind of uh, requires a lot of lubrication. So typically you would find this in, a, in an oil bath situation or a constant drip feed um, situation. So are they better? Well, as long as you're not spinning very fast, this is a $20 bearing. If I were to use a pillow block bearing on this situation, it will be a $100 bearing. So very inexpensive. I need two of them, still not quite a big deal. The issue is that this bearing in the front and the bearing in the back have to be in perfect alignment. You cannot install these if they are not perfect. So typically that requires special tooling. You might need to hone these in place. Uh, the shaft has to be in excellent condition. Uh, you can see there are wear marks on this shaft, which wouldn't fly. Uh, these wear marks will actually cause this bearing to wear out prematurely. So in a, and obviously this pillow block bearing is small, it's just what I happen to have uh, on hand. But in a pillow block bearing situation, all you would need to do to install this, because it is a self-aligning pillow block bearing, is you put it in the shaft, and you tighten it down. And this flange right here acts as a, a thrust surface against the, the inside race of the bearing. 
So when it comes to installation, this is very simple and easy to install into your homemade lathe. So what are the disadvantages? Well, maybe it's not as strong or uh, able to resist load, but these can resist a lot of load. This one here is rated for high revolutions and high um, dynamic loads. This is rated for a much, much higher dynamic load, but much lower revolution. So you have about 1,000 RPM max on this, and you, and you have to make sure you are lubricated or you will ruin these almost immediately. Uh, and this is rated for about 25,000 RPM, uh, easy to lubricate, and it's sealed, so it maintains its lubrication, and if you ever need to, you just touch it right up, uh, and any extra grease will just lose out the side. So, high initial cost, ease of installation and replacement, no special tooling required, very inexpensive initial cost, high load rating, low RPMs, uh, special tooling required, and if, if your particular application does not utilize a standard size, then they are very, very expensive. I'd like to show you a, a, the application for this particular bronze bearing and you'll understand what I mean. So here we have an industrial connecting rod that fits on a large punch press. And you can see this is a, the bearing that we made previously. You can see this is a very uh, light press fit. Uh, in fact, it's, it's, a, it's a slip fit, but with pressure. I can feel that it's, it's not that simple. This is the cam that actuates the connecting rod uh, that will uh, bring the ramp plate up and down. This cam, which we also manufacture, uh, the bearing has been, has been machined to fit perfectly. As you can see, that is a perfect fit. There is no play in there. And if I take it out, you can see there's very little room. So in this high pressure, low RPM, uh, low revolution situation, the bronze bearing is the best choice. Ball bearings would not be able to withstand the high loads and pressures required for punching. Does this mean it lasts forever? Absolutely not. We replace these on a regular basis. As you can see, this is another new bearing, bronze bearing as this one is. This is the replacement bearing. And as you can see, it is worn out at the bottom. So because of the high pressures and forces, this is a sacrificial element. It works fantastic, but it does wear out. So when it comes time to replacement, and these are replaced several times a year. This is not a once in a lifetime replacement. This is a replacement that happens several times a year. Even with proper lubrication, the shear pressure does in fact wear this out. So in this uh, situation, they have to uh, replace these so often and the bearings that they're using are custom made to fit. This is not an off the shelf size. So for this particular application, these end up being quite expensive, several hundred dollars. Uh, but because of the high loads, a ball bearing will simply not work. So I hope that clears things up for, for most of you. So the, the real question is, well, which is the best choice? They're both good choices. It depends on your applications. Uh, it also depends on what materials you have available to you and what equipment you have available to you. The average home lathe builder is not going to have access to a full machine shop like we have here. But you will be able to purchase pedal block bearings or similar mounted bearings. Like I said, they come in different types and varieties. Please make sure you choose accordingly depending on your design. Uh, will a bronze bearing work on your lathe? Absolutely. As long as you adhere to all the restrictions. It must be well lubricated, must be a good fit, and uh, low revolutions. These are quite forgivable. If you ruin one, it is not a big deal. You remove it and replace it. And a lot of these you can buy just the inserts. So your high initial cost for the initial mounting and bearing is immediately offset by the much more affordable cost of a replaceable insert. And if you cannot replace it yourself, any machine shop will be happy to do it for you. It is a minimal cost. This is not a big deal. We do it all the time. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for watching my video and visiting my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe.